Auto Trail Tribute T715. Auto Trail Tribute T715 motorhome, 2.3 litre diesel, just over 7 metres long and weighing in at 3650 kilograms. You will need a C1 licence to drive this vehicle. So let's go around. So below, wastewater drain, electric hookup, fridge vents, down below we have the fresh water drain cassette toilet any type of resistance whatsoever stop because you haven't closed the toilet on the inside going around the other side bike rack access for storage underneath the bed gas barbecue point where you put your fresh water into your fresh water tank flue for the heating and water system and we have a gas low system so that's where the gas goes in i'll show you inside we have two bottles with a changeover system and you've guessed it the expensive part where we put the diesel do you want to go have a look inside Trail Tribute T715 Fiat Ducato. It's a 2.3 litre, 130 brake horsepower, six speed with media pack, air conditioning. Right, control panel. That's better, we've got some light now. So, Auto Trail Tribute T715. It's a full berth, fixed bed. We have washroom with a separate shower, hob, combined grill oven with microwave. Three-way fridge, we've even got an Aptac television. Look we have that. two bed seats which will pull out to make a large double bed. Now it is a four berth. It has only got two seat belts. Earlier on we switched the gas on, so we'll get the gas coming through. We'll do the hops first. The grill and the oven are combined, so I'll just do the oven. There we go, gas coming through. And while I'm down here, I'll do the fire. Yeah, that's lit. And we do have a blown air system here. If I put that on. As the fire heats up, then we will get blown air then coming through the various fan vents around the van. Right, the, the fridge is a three-way. So what we'll do, we'll put it on. So it's found electric first because that's what I was using it on on last time I had the fridge on. If I want to put it onto gas. I'll press this twice and that's lit now and then we've got leisure battery which will fault out because the engine's not running on the motorhome and we need that running uh, so to keep the leisure battery charged so I'll move it back round to gas and that's the fridge working 
Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to prime up the water system. So earlier on, we filled the fresh water tank up. And now what we need to do is transfer some water into the hot water tank. So we'll go over to the control panel. Nice, simple control panel. No fancy LCDs or programs. We have on and off. Where's your battery? We can also switch to vehicle battery. We have how much is in the fresh water tank. And then also we've got the pump which we'll switch on in a second. And then the water will transfer into the hot water tank, fill up, it'll take roughly two minutes to prime up. And there we go, we've primed up. One thing as well I do like about this van, there is plenty of storage all the way around the van really. We've got also, we've got plenty of storage underneath both bench seats. But under this bench seat, I'll just show you, we do have the leisure battery. So it's got its own fuse and a nice convenient plate where the leisure battery is stored. And again, we've got good storage over the fixed beds and again, good storage underneath the bed. Even big enough to fit Jason in. <laughs> Thanks. So, water pump with filter. And there we've got the water heater, which is a Truma system. And these are drain off for the water heater. So if we lift it up, that does drain the water out. So if you're not using the motorhome, just drain the water heater down. So we've got two switches here. Now, if you want to put the hot water on with a hookup pen and you want to put it on the electric, we switch that one on there. And then on the side of the bed, we have a switch, one for 40 degrees and one for 60 degrees, and that switch the hot water on. You must switch the switch on under the bed first or else it will not work. Now the other switch here is for your electric blown air. Again, if you've got a hook up into the van, you can use this. Um, I've already shown you how to use the, the fire on the gas. So now for the electric side. So we must switch on that. Now that you've switched on underneath the bed, here is your heating system now. So if we turn it to there, 500 watts, 1000 watts, and 2000 watts and there's your temperature controller. Again, if it's not switched on under the bed, this will not work. And while we're at it, this is your gas hot water. So we can switch that on 70 degrees, or we can do 50 degrees on the gas. Cassette toilet. So there's the flush. Now you must have your pump on because it takes the water from the fresh water tank. If you've not got your pump on, then you won't get a flush. And again, flap on the side here to open and close. And also a level indicator of how much. So if we go into the cupboard, we have the aerial and also the booster. We have a freestanding table, extractor fan, where we can take air out of the van. And we can also bring air into the van. It's got three speeds as well. And if we make our way to the front of the van, in this cupboard, we have the control supply unit. So what we've got, battery charger. So if I switch that off now, and um, we're not trickle charging the leisure battery, switch it back on. Again, it'll only work if you've got a hookup in the van. 12 volt fuses all labelled to which ones they do and then we have the 240 as your trip this motorhome's also got solar panel there's your control unit and it's been wired up to leisure battery and also vehicle battery all the windows are blinds and fly screens nice and easy to operate what I do like as well is the pop-up plug Tribute 715 and um, the Tribute's are really an entry level van for the Auto Trail but it doesn't feel like one. I like this van. 
um, it's got the refinements of a really expensive van it's got all your mod cons that you're gonna need without the um, awkward gadgetry and programs and circuit boards and everything else it's a good van it's got good storage um, yeah this is a van I could go away in really to be honest it's a really nice van